Hi, I'm Dr. Brett Watwood. I'm going to be your instructor for EDU 6333, Social Media and Beyond. What's the beyond mean? Let's take a look at the course and see. So as I said, welcome to EDU 6333, Social Media and Beyond. I just introduced myself, but again, I'm Dr. Brett Watwood, your instructor. I'm also at bwatwood on Twitter. I have an email address. I blog. I have a LinkedIn account. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and a host of other social sites. In other words, I have a digital identity, just like you do. And it is this interplay between our social identities and education that we'll explore over the next 12 weeks. So let me run through a bit of course overview for you. Social media has certainly been in the headlines the past year, and I'll talk more about that on, in a moment. This course is an opportunity, an opportunity to experiment with the social side of the web, explore its ethical and not so ethical uses, and determine for yourself whether social media fits your organization and your own professional needs. I have been an advocate for its use, but it's important to understand both the affordances and the darker challenges that social media provide. We're going to do this collaboratively, using social media as part of the dialogue for this course. We'll be looking forward, but we'll also look back to see if technological transitions of the past might inform our future with digital technology. After all, the coming of the personal computer, or even chalk blackboards, required shifts in teaching practice. We will look at recent research and explore what it says about integrating technology in the learning experience. There are two required books for this course. Education and Social Media is a 2016 book edited by Christine Greenhow, Julia Sonnevand, and Colin Auger. We will supplement this book with Paul Anderson's 2012 book, Web 2.0 and Beyond, which is in some ways now a history book. But I felt that the background he provided was good grounding for any educator. I'm also suggesting an optional book, Siva Vedhaya Nathan's 2018 Anti-Social Media, which as its tagline implies, looks at how social media, and Facebook in particular, move through algorithms and practice to disconnect us rather than connect us, and in the process undermine democracy. This book provides a nice balance to the optimistic view of the use of social media in education. As I mentioned earlier, these are indeed interesting times. During spring last year, a firestorm erupted over Facebook and Cambridge Analytica's mining of data. Because of a loophole in the terms of agreement, signing up for Facebook not only meant that you gave the company the right to look at your data, including all phone calls and text messages, but you gave it permission to mine that same data from all your friends. So Cambridge Analytica was able to leverage the data of a quarter million Facebook accounts into the data of some 50 million people and use that data for targeted political ads. Our American president has made Twitter his default mean of communication and informed people he's fired them through Twitter. One could suggest that President Trump's use of Twitter is a case study in and of itself. This makes this course both extremely relevant and a constant shifting target. Your job is to be open to using social media but still skeptical of its efficacy. I will try each week to provide both pros and cons, and I hope you will as well through our dialogue on Twitter. We will explore this together. This is a fast 12 weeks. We will start with defining social media and using it through Twitter. In the second week, we'll build on the concept of a personal learning network through social media. Then over the course of the coming nine weeks, we will shift back and forth between theoretical concepts and practical tools and platforms. Most of our coursework will take place in Blackboard, but we will use Twitter weekly. I used to also have this class conduct some discussions in a closed Facebook group, but given the data mining issues that have surfaced, I no longer think it's morally right for me to require students to have a Facebook account. So I dropped that requirement for this class. I'm still exploring alternative options, so stay flexible. We might try out some new social media platforms as the course unfolds. 
I still think that LinkedIn is a good option for professionals, so we'll use it to connect, but not for actual coursework. In the main menu of our course, you will find a tab for Start Here. I'm assuming you've already found it since you're watching this video. But make sure you check out the folder underneath the video. It contains info on setting up a dummy email account, an option but not required, setting up a Twitter account, using TweetDeck or HootSuite, two platforms that can make managing Twitter easier, and pick one, not both, and a survey to help me get to know you better. Those of you who have had me before will recognize this. I use a process for online teaching called PI for preparations, interactions, and evaluation. Something I picked up from practices at St. Leo University in Florida. Each week you will see the weekly module set up in this format. Preparation lays out an overview for the week and provides a very detailed task list with due dates. Interactions is where you interact with content, each other, and me. An evaluation provides information on how you'll be graded, as well as links for sub submitting assignments. As with most Northeastern courses, there's a weekly flow to this course. Typically by Thursday, you will have tweeted something in response to the prompts I give you. By Friday, you will have authored your weekly post in the discussion board. Between Friday and Sunday, you will continue engaging with your classmates in both Twitter and Blackboard, commenting on their posts and comments. You will note that weekly participation makes up 25% of your grade, and half of that comes from commenting. If you wait until late on Sunday to comment to others, you are not giving them time to respond back and your grade will suffer accordingly. The other signature assignments are noted here. I have designated the infographic, your poll analysis, your lesson revamp, and your legal case analysis as signature assignments, and these you will load into the Digication ePortfolio by the end of the course. So that provides an overview of this course. The young lady in this picture is my granddaughter back when she was two. She's now 10, owns her own iPad, loves emojis, and will soon enter the world of social media. So I take this course personally. This is a course in which my grandkids are growing up. I hope this course is as meaningful to you. The old saying that you get out of it what you put into it certainly applies to social media. And I look forward to learning with you.